All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. And today where we're we'll taking on is on the uh, stage six of the ultimate red zone. So this is going to be is post commentary. So I recorded this when I was uh, just recording because I was like, you know what? I wasn't going to gonna talk during this um uh, during this uh, run here because one if I do, you know, if I do record at the same time while uh, talking, I probably would would have messed up uh, a lot. So, so me, I was like, you know what? Just let me record this and then just post uh, post commentary, you know, and talk about my thoughts and you know what's gonna happen here, and you know, I just talk about what's like what is gonna happen. Just just going through this first stage here, and it was actually pretty good uh, um, at first. In my head, I was like, whoa, this is actually, this is actually pretty easy. But then once you get to Nova Shinron and Ice Shinron, uh, that is where like the they become more annoying. But um, the very first couple ones, uh, yeah. So I I checked the time and see what time is it. So my bad. So they were actually pretty. Uh, this is like the first stage was pretty easy actually. Um, so I um will do something really uh really. It's not, I would say I don't think it's a cheat. I would say, but um. So I used Estra Vegito to use the at the skill in order to see where the the uh, super tech is coming from. So you'll see me using the at the skill and then uh, seeing where the attack is coming from. And then I'll click out of the game and, and then I'll go back into the game. So now I know where the super tech is coming from. So that's actually, that's actually really nice that it, it works like that. So so, so, so it's kind of like a cheat, but I, I use that. But just in case, you know, um, I was actually really, um, you know, kind of heated in this one because I, I faced Omega first, and then I faced Seventeen right afterwards, and I was like, you know what, I, I am so done. I do not want to lose this in in this um in this stage here. So I this is my first try, uh, trying to beat this stage here, and this is actually pretty easy. Uh, but once like like I said, once you go into Nova Shenron and Ice Shenron, uh, they're gonna be pretty annoying because I, cause I think. Ice Shenron does actually um uh, lock you in so and I'm pretty sure Northern does dodges so you see he's got those two units those those two bosses are gonna be a pretty um what you call it uh they're gonna be a really annoying like once you face them so uh I was saying I forgot the the very first dragon I think like Neutron I think that, that's his name he wasn't that bad at all but he had like a he had a bunch of health well not not, not like a lot of health but like he had like a decent amount of health that could not, that could go into two turns, which is you know. Um, so I was using a team of the GT infused fighters. So I brought in, of course, is the, the GT Goku. I brought in the um, AGL Go Tanks. I brought in as well as the uh, Vegito because he has a very broken mechanic where you can see the or see the attack for ten turns, which is nice. Um, unfortunately, as you can uh, you will see in the run here. Uh, I think at the end of the battle, uh, where Nova Shimon did lock one of my units actually, and it, it, I was actually getting a little frustrated. So here we go. We are in the next stage here. So we did go and actually fight the uh, this guy here. Uh, he was actually pretty easy as well because as long as as, as we have is the Vegeta and Goku here, the STR one. Uh, battling this guy, I think we're probably fine here. And also, we, like actually, we got very lucky on the key placements in this stage. Actually, so I'm actually very happy that um that I didn't get cucked too much, as in like the uh, SCR 17 stage, which I got so unlucky on that stage so many times. But luckily, if you haven't seen that video, I will leave a notation up on the right hand corner of the video. Uh, so I got really lucky on that video, and I <laughs> somehow defeated him with the GT uh, Fizz Go. Physical Goku because one, I should have lost that for sure. But uh, luckily, the uh, GT Goku did an additional and a critical, which made me win that stage. Though, so um, 17 is a little bit of a problem because he does absorb at the skills, at the skills super attack. Uh, but it, I don't think he doesn't dodge uh, unarmed super attack. So he only he, he only absorbs the uh, key based, oh key blast based at the skill, which is actually really weird because. Uh, at first I thought, okay, let me activate Super, Super Saiyan for Goku's at the scale. Boom, he absorbed it. So, um, nothing too amazing so far happening here. So we're just, so we're just, we're just going through here. 
Um, these guys have nothing, I think, with any, you know, funky mechanics here. I don't think so. Yeah, so, um, at first I was like, oh, counter, nice, but I was like, oh, wait a minute. Oh, so, I got really lucky on this part. So, I got two dodges right here, so, which is nice. So, I gave my, uh, Godku and Vegeta, uh, the, I think, I think it's one of the skill ups from the event that, that they give us for Goku and Vegeta units. I gave him a level four dodge, and that... <laughs> I'm just saying, man, <laughs> level four dodge, level three dodges actually are very helpful here. That is a lot of damage against the, uh, the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. He's, he's doing a lot of damage again. He even super first. That's a lot. So this is actually very difficult, but, um, also you gotta be really, really lucky in this stage here. So we got here the Super Saiyan 4s. So right here, I wanted to stack at least once here because, you know, we're going to be going into a later stage here, which, which, you know, uh, if you get the at the skill off for the Gogeta, the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, as well as the uh, blue uh, blue Gogeta, they're going to one KO to like anybody at the end. So uh, that, that that's what I did uh, on, on, on the later end of the video. So you'll see I'm um, using one of the at the skills, and uh, it actually pretty worked out really well here. So okay, so we're here. So I wanted to actually see the super attack here. So we're going to activate the Vegito because I was like, wait a minute. What if if uh, she the Oceana supers in the first lot? And I was like, oh wait a minute, hold up. So I did the after skill for Vegito. So I kind of cheated here. I would say if you want to count that as cheating. So we go into Vegito. We see these attack, uh, these attack coming through, and we go into Vegito. This is super Vegito, really nice. Let's keep going. And right and right here, I see where the attack is coming from. I was like, okay, so let me click out now. And uh, let me get him out now and go into the uh, God Boys in the front because they're going to tank that. So they're going to get a uh, super first and uh, um, and then we can tank that. So right here, I'm going to cut right here and, we're, and then we're, we're going to go into the, uh, uh, the boss. Okay, so we are back now. So so right here, uh, we, so we so so now we know where the attack is coming from, from Oceana. So I'm going to put the God Boys in the front. Uh, to get that extra, uh, the defense stacking, which is really nice. I wanted to use the at the skill for Gogeta, but I thought, well, wait a minute, let me just not do that. So right here, I actually wanted to uh, put Vegito at the end here, so it can be off rotation because it might take a while for uh, Oceanus to be dead here. So I was like, you know what? Never mind. Let me keep her. Uh, actually, let me keep the Vegeta and Goku on rotation just in case if I need the um, that little mechanic thing where I can actually just see the protect co coming from. And then it actually worked out a lot actually on on my end here so right here we're gonna super with the god boys they're getting their what uh 12 key super here which is only one stack which is unfortunate i i got unlucky here with some of of the field orb uh which is i i i, I kind of hate that it's just you get really unlucky uh with, uh with the field orbs which is so dumb here so we have this Oceana Super here and did nothing at all to us, which is 41k, which is not too bad, actually. I was like, you know what? That's pretty good. So, uh, here is the Goku Vegeta here. I actually was very scared of, of, of these units doing like a little gimmick where they can double super one turn. And she did at least, <laughs> uh, yeah, a lot, a lot. So, so 61k, which is a lot actually for, uh, even though that this, uh, Goku Vegeta, they do the damage reduction. I was like, wow, the heat took a lot. So right here, we got the uh, Goku and Vegeta, the Super Saiyan 4s, doing a critical hit, which is pretty good. And of course, the, he, uh, he, does, he does a guaranteed crate here. Sorry, a guaranteed additional because we got 24 or more, more correctly. So that's pretty nice. Uh, and then I think on the next turn, we have is... Okay, the next turn we have is the Super Saiyan 4 Goku, the Super Saiyan 4s, and the uh, GT Goku here. So... Uh, not too bad for uh, taking damage against the uh, Super Saiyan Force here. So right here, I was actually very scared and panicking. I was like, oh, wait a minute. Oh, should I not activate? Should I not? Should I put the Super Saiyan 4 here or should I put uh, Goku in the middle? I was like, oh, I really want to use the after skill because I was very, very scared in this moment here. But I was like, you know what? L let me put in the Goku right in the middle because if what if, if she does super the Goku and of course this Goku has a medium chance to dodge. Sorry, yeah, I'm sorry. A medium chance to counter, which is like a 30% chance to do that. And, you know, you don't really want to risk that. Uh, I wish I had the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta here instead. 
but my Gogeta is only at zero dupes and he will definitely would get annihilated by these uh buses for sure so i got a uh 24 key super here so we are effective against all time if I remember correctly are we uh yes we are so for oceanus you have to uh do a super attack against her to order to defeat her which is uh not too hard to do but you know you can definitely get cucked um by this stage if you aren't supering her uh in order to, to defeat her so uh, for fortunately i actually did uh defeat her with the super saiyan 4 goku here because uh he uh gained a lot of key here which is nice sometimes you won't get key and also she also manipulates the field so she would definitely would, would uh would cuck you for sure um if you don't be very careful uh, on your key management there so Okay, so right here, uh, we defeat her, and then we're going to go to the next stage, which I think I'm more correctly is Ice and Run? No, no, Nova Shun Run, I think. I, I think it's Nova Shun Run, I think. Uh, correctly, if I'm wrong me, please, so I'll pass me. If it is, no, it's this one. I, I think this is Neutron Shun Run, I think? I, I don't know this one. This is the one that uh, has that, you know, that little effect where he, like, he, he uh, bounces the key back to you guys. But uh, uh, fortunately, this guy doesn't do that. <laughs> That'd be really weird if he did here. So right here, I was very scared to get super by him by the first slot. So I'm like, you know what? Let me activate the... Yeah, let's go again in order to see where the super deck is coming from, right, from here. Because I wanted to know in advance, just in case, if he does super the Goku and the Vegeta here. I will probably will be dead here. But uh, I think you'll see here uh, in a minute here that he did not super at all here, which is pretty nice. So I'm like, yes, I'm right here. I'm like, yes, he did super here. So we're perfectly fine for the neck rotation. So right here, I was thinking about keeping Vegito here, but I'm like, wait a minute. No, let me save the after skill once more for the uh, for a higher uh, uh, phase over here. So we're going to cut here again and then we're going to go into the next phase. All right. So we're all back now So we're here. We know that he's not going to super us anymore. Which is totally fine. Okay, so I remember thinking here. So I think it was like the next uh, rotation or the next turn. He super somebody, but I do not remember. I think it was the physical Super Saiyan Force duo. I remember correctly, uh, but they didn't do too much against him. But they, these guys do hit pretty hard, honestly. The more you get into the stage. The harder they will hit for sure so they're 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 no slouch there are no slouch at all so okay so right here we did uh one super here i think we did yeah an a, a 18 key super right off the bat which is pretty nice we're also we're effective against all types which is nice and also getting a guaranteed super okay that's a lot of damage here which is really good um we're gonna do this and let's see here so i remember correctly yeah, I did an additional here, which is really nice. So, so we're getting our defense stacked up here, which is really, really nice. Okay. Uh, if I remember correctly, I don't remember this guy having any gimmick as well. Because most likely these guys are not going to have any gimmick at all. So the only ones that I can think of in my head were only Nova Shenron, which is next. So Nova Shenron is actually next. And I think uh, the, the last one is actually who's actually physical. So I will be very, very careful uh, bringing some in units. I don't know if the EZA LR30 units, uh, sorry, LR30 here uh, in Vegito would get cooked by him, the uh, by the physical Ice Shen Run. I definitely will make will make a video on that, uh, bringing the uh EZA uh 30 year in Vegito on the bosses event so like one of these one of these events here so I will do that for sure I might try out him out on the Omega so I already have both the 30 units already ra uh, rainbow well not rainbow but I have both of them already EZA so I can usually uh so, so I can freely use them now I think Gogeta is going to be your, your partner the physical Gogeta because Omega Shenron he is physical no he's int for the first race, well, so you get to fight is the uh, what do we call it? The sh the the LR Shadow Dragons first, and then you fight the STR Sentient Run. And the last phase, you get to fight uh, fight fight is the Int Omega Shenron, who is oh boy, I haven't gone to that yet. So I haven't. So I, I did face the um, the first phase and the second phase. Currently, I lost the second phase because he hit me for like, a million damage. So. 
it is gonna be there omega's gonna get you guys really pissed off so be careful guys be careful so right here i actually kind of panicked here as well i was like you know what uh what if if he does super you know the gogeta here or the goku right in the middle i'm like you know what let me go into gogeta so so i can get that uh 50 50 in order to, to counter these super tech here so i was like you know what screw this let me go into gogeta and then since i was below 50 percent here I was thinking of activating the after skill here. Sorry, the uh yeah, the after skill here, but I, I don't know if I did or not. Did I? I don't think so. Because like you know what? Let me just use these between four because they're they're gonna be tanking this attack here, which is really nice. Uh see so here, yep. So we just go and attack here. And I was like, oh wait a minute. I, I was like, please don't cuck me on the orbs here. Uh I was really I actually so so this is where I was like, okay, relief because it's this guy. Um, he's not gonna tank it, so that's not too bad for damage there. We almost could actually, if I had the Goku right, right in the front, we would definitely would die here. So, nine million <laughs> that is with a lot of stacks, and also, uh, all still links active without any support, guys. Without any support, nine million attacks that you think that they're good, you think they're good, right? You think that you know. Gold players, you should be saving these. Uh, sorry, you, you should be saving your stones with these units. 90 million without support. That's insane. So, all right. So now we defeat this guy now. And then there's the Nova Shenron. So this is where I thought in my head, oh, does he have a mechanic here? Which he, of course, I don't know how to read it quite Japanese. I did not expect him to at least to dodge. I thought that he would have like some kind of mechanic where he can just like nullify an attack or something. I was like, you know what? Uh, so right here, you know, I'm panic mode. I was like, okay, so I'm not full health. No, I'm actually I'm half health. I was like, you know what? Let me go into Vegito to see the attacks coming from. And I do think I did see an attack coming from. I think at the end here. So I was very very scared um, at the end of the uh, of this rotation here. Because I was like, you know what? Let me go into Vegito see this attack and then i saw that at the end of the uh targeting the, the gd goku more correctly i did i did put vegeto at the last uh slot i think let me check actually um so right, here, so, so right here i was like wow what if if i keep vegeto on rotation he will take the he won't take that super at all so i was very panicky here i was like oh wait a minute I was thinking of putting the God of Boys at the end. I'm like, you know what? Never mind. Let me go and actually uh, um, use the code again or the uh, cheat code. And, you know, we start off again. So I'm going to cut here and then go into the fight again. All right. So we are back now. So so we know where is the attack is coming from. It's at the end. So right here, I had to practically put the Goku Vegeta at the end because they have the mitigation. Also, I used my item here at this point, at this moment right now. I think it's impossible to no item run the 7 stage, the Shenron stage, or the Shenrons, my bad, the Shenron stages, and as well as Sen Shenron. Those three events are unitemable at this moment. So what I'm thinking in the near future, yeah, so this guy dodges, which is so, it kind of shocked me, but not, it didn't really shocked me at all, but, but it did caught me on surprise. I'm like, oh, great. So I have to deal with this guy with dodging. So, um, so I was saying here, so global will have an easier time to no item run the stages or beat the stage because one, um, the next sand day unit will have like some kind of like power creep for sure. And, and he will do pretty great against, uh, sorry, in this stage here, which is, you know, so since blow global and JP will be sharing the same celebration here, um, <clears throat> Yeah, they're going to be, maybe they're going to cater to this stage here where you're going to be building new units and, you know, having, yeah, I took a lot of damage here. I was like, oh man, I was like, I, I'm going to die here. Like, I know that I'm going to die. I'm just, he, he dodged my attack here. I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'll die here. So luckily I was like, okay, I'm dead here. Luckily I survived. I survived right here with minimal health here. I was like, oh great. So I was like, here, since, since you can only bring in one item, which is the Android. Uh, sorry, you can bring any item you want. But me personally, I brought is a uh, waste item. So right here, I panicked a lot here. So I was like, you know what? Let me activate the, the skill for Eco J here because he's going to uh, gonna do a critical hit, which is really nice. 
Uh, so I got really panicky here. Um, you're gonna see something here. I, <laughs> bro, I honestly thought that I was gonna die on this turn. So you will see. You will see at the end with Gotenks. I was like, oh, great. Uh, I was like, oh, great. I'm dead here. Uh, I guess let me do a one last ditch or my last resort on attacking this guy. I was like, so I was putting uh, Gotenks at the, uh, in the middle because I, th I thought that he was dead in the middle. Sorry, uh, that he won't super in the middle. Uh, but <laughs> you will see at the end here where at the end of the rotation where Gotenks is right. I was like, you know what? Let me put Gotenks back at the end here because he's 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 an AGL. I'm surprised this this um this type of advantage unit is doing a, a lot of damage against a uh uh an AGL unit, which is because right here. Okay, so we're we're taking double damage here. So I was very scared of him supering either on the first slot or on the middle slot because I was like, you know what? One super uh, against a physical type, uh, we're dead here. So if 10 million attacks that. Good. That's good actually. Alright, so 10 million attacks that. Uh, so we did get the oh, that's a six 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 point nine crit with an action break. I think the um action break did actually work for me here, but unfortunately he dodged. <laughs> At this point, I was like, oh please go go Kubajita, please do it super please. And uh, luckily they did here, so which is which is really, that actually helped me out a lot. Okay, um, but I was <laughs> very very like stretched out here. Uh, he did a third super here, which is nice, but he dodged that freaking again. I was just panicking. I was like, you know what? I'm dead. One one super for Gotenks, uh, he won't take at all. He won't take. And I was like, oh, fine, whatever. I'll, I'll just le let this through and be, and, and be done with it. Because I was like, I'm done. I'm done. So he supered me, right? Right here. Since since I used an item, I completely forgot that I used it's a waste item. So he took 108. I was like, oh, please, thank you. Thank you. So right here, I was like, you know what? I'm done playing games here. I am done playing games, and I'm going to activate the God Boys at the scale going to Gogeta, because if I don't, I would freaking die. So, okay. We go into the Blue Boys, which is pretty nice. Uh, we are like in like 50 or below, so we can activate the other scale. I was going to activate against the I Shadon because I was like, you know what? I'm pretty sure the um Echeron is the last one. But right here, uh, if I let the Nomashon run super me or attack me one more time, I'll be dead for sure. Like instant death for sure. So in a panic situation, I was like, you know what, screw it, just activate the other skill. Uh he will take at least like 12 million crit, which is you know, uh if you stack your, your attack and defense high enough. You will do a lot of damage and you're going to oko the um, boss for here for sure so okay so we took we, we uh we go into gojita blue which is really good uh because his condition well not the conditions but like also the effect of it is that you are guaranteed to do a critical hit and of course the amount of stacking you did on this unit uh they're gonna they're gonna oko like one shot oko so so right here, I was like, okay, uh, since I killed Nova Shenron, uh, how tough is Ice Shenron, Ice Shenron is going to be here? Well, he is pretty tough, actually. So he does lock the unit on your first slot. <laughs> ah, but luckily, luckily, he is actually physical. So I kept STR Vegito on rotation here. So I did not do that, that little cheat there, because otherwise, um, if I did that, I would be dead for sure, because he would have definitely super me on the first slot. Which, you know, Vegito does not take uh, supers that, you know, that lightly. So uh, that's the only issue with this Vegito is because he, he, he can't not take any supers. So, so I was like, okay, so he is supering in the middle here. So with 104, uh, 45k for defense, I was like, okay, Vegito, I need you to tank these. <laughs> I need you to tank these normals. Otherwise, we're going to lose right here. So. Uh, so right here, I was, I was thinking of putting these Super Saiyan 4s in the middle to tank because once they super, they, they stack for defense here. I was like, you know what? L let me put in uh, Gojira in the middle just in case if he does, you know, um, counter super, which is, you know, what I want from this unit here. So it's a 50% chance to uh, counter super. Okay. Well, actually, no. I actually, no. I actually activated the Apta skill for that Goku. So my, so my Goku, sorry, my Gogeta comes out, I think. Or now. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. So 
So I did that to put, put the front one in the middle. And I was like, you know what? Let me just activate. Oh, no, I, really? I didn't activate Gogeta here. Oh, that's right. Because because I, uh, yeah. So, so he's taking to see 4K, <laughs> which is a lot here. So I was panicking a lot. I was like, no, please don't die. Please don't die. He's taking a lot. I was like, no, Vegeta, 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 no, don't die on me. So luckily he was pretty for me, which is really good. Um, I, I was actually expecting the Ice Shenron to uh, dodge. But that only catered to the uh, Nova Shonen, so I was pretty happy that he didn't dodge all my attacks here. So, so he only locks the unit on our first slot, or randomly, if I remember correctly. So, right here we got the Dokama, which did help a lot, actually. This is, um, <laughs> I got really lucky here because it went slow. If it went fast, I would have, I would have not gone this at all. So, we got Vegito doing the... The maximum damage here which is also it will close to maximum damage here we we, we we were missing one key here in order to uh get that 24 key super to that uh, to get that max damage so luckily he did uh count sorry he did uh did a critical on super i was like yes thank goodness we did a i think a 10 minute crit yeah 10 minute crit so it so it took at least two bars of him so i was very happy here um he did take a normal for 42k and he Right here, he, he did a crit. So my boy Vegito here was uh, doing godlike work here, which is good. Okay, since um, we did an ATK super, we could are we are going to action break or you know break their uh, one turn here, which is going to be really helpful here. So Gogeta did like what a eight point six more correctly, and I don't know, I don't, I didn't see the number here. Okay, so we did an action break with nice seeing the crit here. I, remember, I think it was like if you get twenty four or more, you get a critical hit. I, I think a guaranteed crit. So right here, I was like, oh, please, just kill, kill the ice on please, Gogeta. I was praying, I was, I, I was praying to my knees here uh, to kill him, but actually we did actually, so we did. So we killed him here, I, I thought we were going to go for one more turn, but no, we killed him here with that guaranteed um, additional with the critical hit, and we were done with the event here. So it, it, it was very, <laughs> very difficult. Um, definitely, you're going to going to get your uh pants caught down if you're not careful in this event here so the next stage i will want to do is of course an omega but i might just try out the uh gt sorry the movie boss's enemies which they're gonna be a little bit more easier because you're you're gonna have a tech kefla actually um not on the last stage with broly because broly uh uh eliminates dodging so you can't bring kefla she'll get cooked at the end here so all right guys thank you for watching and of course if you do like the video, and if you like these type of uh, post commentary videos, please leave a like and also comment down below. Have you uh, gone to beat the two stages for the Ultimate Red Zone on the GT uh, boss side? So, all right, guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.